Wow, and now what are we gonna do with all these kids? Ah, they're so cute. Let's take them back to Casita, of course. Uh, yes. Well, uh, don't forget that we still have to help Isabella. Why don't you guys take all the kids back to Casita and you leave this Isabella business to me? Ugh, oh, this is crazy. This is like a nightmare. Well, it looks like there's no other way. Let's go, girls. Let's take all these kids back to Casita. Well, I'll keep looking for a way to get Isabella out of that terrible doll. Wait, what? First the cats, and now all of these children? Ah, oh, but Abuela, look how cute they are. Well, excuse me, I have something to do. I'll be back. <laughs> when Bruno gets back, he'll be so surprised by how clean his room is. And I even went to go get everything that he had on his list. Poppy! Bruno, I'm so happy to see you. Look, I brought the hamburgers that you wanted for lunch. And I also brought you, Poppy. I am very mad at you. Uh, why, Bruno? What happened? Don't pretend, Poppy. You turned Isabella into Kissy Missy. Oh, that. <laughs> How could you laugh about something so important? Oh, Bruno, you're so unromantic. Isabella likes my friend Huggy Wuggy. And Huggy Wuggy likes her too. So let her be just like him. Now they can finally be together, am I right? Poppy, I'm tired of you playing with other people's lives. I want you to come with me to Playtime Company right this very second, and you are going to turn Isabella back into a human. Ah, uh, okay, Bruno. I don't understand why you're causing all this drama over something so simple. So anyway, here, I brought the hamburgers that you wanted for lunch. They're gonna get cold. Why don't we eat first? Here. Fine, but as soon as we finish eating, we're going to Playtime Company. Oh, by the way... <laughs> Today, in town, <laughs> I found one of your customers, and they want us to open back up our fortune-telling stand. Poppy, I won't talk to you about anything other than turning Isabella back into a human. Okay, okay, Bruno. Wow, what a grumpy pants. <gasps> What are all these kids doing here? It's a long story, Poppy, and right now, we have to hurry. Come on, I'll tell you on the way. Let's go, Mirabelle. We have to go find beds for all these kids. How about some of them sleep in your room and the others will sleep in my room? That's a great idea, Dolores. Oh, I've read through every book and every folder I can find. And I can't find anything about the Kissy Missy experiment. But don't worry, Isabella. I won't let you down. You'll see. I'll find it. I'll find it. Bruno, I can't believe you're making me come back to this terrible place after everything that you know now. Well, yeah, because it looks like you want to leave my niece, Isabella, trapped in this horrible place. I already told you, she's with Huggy Wuggy. She's not alone. With Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, well, for your information, your friend Hugo isn't Huggy Wuggy anymore. We found the way to turn him back into a human. Seriously? You should be happy, shouldn't you? Yes, I am happy, but I'll miss him. He was supposed to be with me forever. Well, isn't that why you left Isabella here? Yes, it's true. Hugo, I'm so happy we found you. Look, I brought Poppy here so she can turn Isabella back to normal. Poppy, I'm so happy to see you here. Oh, good, good. Please turn Isabella back into a human. Please help me. I haven't been able to find the experiment anywhere. Uh, okay. I think two beds will fit here. <laughs> Excuse me, sweetie. Uh, go over there. That way I can put the two beds in here. Just what we need. One over here. And another one over here. Yay, beds! I want this one. I want this one. Aw, they're so tired. They already fell asleep. Let's go to your room, Dolores. That way we can fit the other three beds. I think I'm going to have to move this couch. That way, they all fit better. That's a good point. Otherwise, they won't fit. You get that side, and I'll get this side. Ah, <laughs> it's heavy. Ah, it's heavy. Oh, finally. <laughs> okay, and now for the beds. One over here, and one over here. And <laughs> let's see, let's see. 
this one here right next to the window. Yay, Bets! I want the one next to the window. And I want this one in the corner. Oh, they look so sweet. Yes, I'm so happy we got them out of that terrible place. What kind of person turns innocent little children into toys? Well, now that we're ready, bibbidi-bobbidi-boo, I remove the spell from you. Thank you so much, Poppy. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, well, let's get out of this place. I don't like being here. Me either. Let's go. Isabella, wait. Look, uh, remember how I said that when all of this is over, I wanted to talk to you? Yeah, I remember. I wanted to see if you wanted to go to dinner with me tonight. Of course. It'll be a great chance to celebrate. Later. Oh my goodness, how crazy, Isabella. I still can't believe that whole adventure. You're the one talking about incredible adventures. What about that whole story that all of these kids were once toys too? Well, I'll be honest. The only reason I even believe it is because I saw it with my own eyes. If I didn't, I probably wouldn't even believe you. But okay, enough with this craziness. Come here, come here. Let me get the measurements so I can fix up your dress. You have to look amazing for your date tonight. Okay, let's see here what about there well i already bought the chocolates the, the ring of course and now i just need to get some flowers hello hello uh i'll take let me see let me see mm, they need to be very special just as special as her oh these i'll buy these flowers sir okay how will you be paying uh with this card please excellent and here's your flowers. <laughs> I thought I could lift them all at the same time. <laughs> and turns out I can. <laughs> I knew it. These kids weigh less than those donkeys. Will you come with me out front to wait? Yes, of course. Let's go. <laughs> Luisa's playing with the kids. Hi, Luisa. Wow, Isabella. Where are you going all dressed up? Well, a very special boy invited me on a date. Oh, here he comes. Hello, hello. How is everybody? It's nice to meet all of you. Isabella, I brought you these chocolates and these flowers. I hope you like them. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you, Hugo. Here, I'll introduce you to my sisters. This is Luisa, and this is Mirabelle. Nice to meet you both. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Well, should we go? Yes, of course. What's wrong, Luisa? Yeah, well, seeing Dolores with Mariano and Isabella with this guy, I kind of wish that, I don't know, I had someone too. <laughs> oh, Luisa, you will one day, don't worry. Wow, what a beautiful restaurant. You've never been here before? No, I don't come out to the town very often. I usually just spend my days in Casita. Good evening. Welcome in. Thank you. Table for two, please. Yes, right away. Oh, these are my favorite chocolates. Good evening. Can I take your order? I'll take steak and onions, please. Uh, I'll have the same as her. Of course. Just one second. They've left. All of them have left. And they left Mommy all alone completely alone well actually not completely alone i still have those scientists <laughs> those are still toys and we can play <laughs> I've had such a fun night with you, Hugo. Oh, I'm glad. I'm really happy to hear that, because uh, there's something else I wanted to ask you. What is it? Isabella, uh, will you marry me? Hugo, of course. Uh, here, here's your engagement ring. No, 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 a million times no. Isabella will not marry a man that she just met. Julieta, Augustin. You two should be supporting me. Uh, yeah, I agree with Abuela. Me too. Well, I am 22 years old, so I will get married with or without your permission. <sighs> Why can't you support me in something that's very important to me? <laughs> 
Theo Bruno. Bobby, I need you two to help me. Uh, uh, what's wrong, Isabella? Why are you crying? Abuela, Papa, and Mama don't want me to marry Hugo. Wow, that was fast. Isabella, what are you talking about? How are you going to marry a man you just met? I know him well enough to know that I want to marry him, Theo Bruno. Well, I'll support you, Isa. Come on, if you're going to get married, you need a wedding dress. Let's go look for one. What? What is Isabella doing with that girl? That assistant of Bruno's is the one that brought all of these troubles onto this family. Look, I saw this store the other day when I came shopping for Bruno's stuff, and I loved it. Hello, hello! We want the most beautiful wedding dress in this entire store. Well, I have exactly what you're looking for. Poor Isabella. She's so unlucky in love. Yeah, but I'd like to support her. Oh, uh, there's nothing more beautiful than being in love. I wish I could help her. But honestly, I also think it's crazy that she's going to marry some guy she barely knows. How you doing in there, Isa? How does it look? I'm ready. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, you look gorgeous. My friend Huggy is going to faint. <laughs> Camilo, turn into a baby again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, enough of me acting like a clown. Hi, Camilo. Hi, kids. Speaking of the kids, I have a wonderful idea. We can put them in beautiful outfits, and they can be the flower girls and boys. Wait, what? Flower girls and boys? What are you guys talking about? Isabella's wedding to Hugo. Hugo? Who's Hugo? Oh, you don't know him, Camilo. But once you meet him, you'll really like him. You'll see. Let's go, Poppy. Huh? Weird. Isabella's gonna marry some guy that I don't even know? I have called this family meeting today to tell you that you are all completely prohibited from helping out Isabella with this craziness of a wedding. Am I understood? Yes, Mama, but I'm still hoping I can convince her not to do it. It's hopeless, Mama. You're not going to be able to. Even if no one here helps me, I'm going to marry Hugo. It's my decision, and I am an adult. So don't try and stop my wedding with Hugo. Oh, and by the way, you're all invited to my wedding on Saturday. Saturday? Yes, everything's already ready. Good evening. Oh, crazy. I've spent so much time as a toy, I don't even have a place to live. It looks like I'll have to stay here for now. And Saturday is my wedding with Isabella. Who knows if she's going to want to come and live here with me. Well, uh, with love, anything is possible. I'll do something. I'll do anything to figure out a way for us to live together and be happy. For now, I'll clean up here a bit. That way we can live together here at first. On Saturday... Oh, look how beautiful you look, Isabella. Thank you for supporting me in all of this, Poppy. And the kids also look fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited for my wedding. Oh, I'm so happy I found this suit here. It's a bit outdated, but it's fine. I don't remember seeing all these spider webs last night. That's because mommy is very sad. Those scientists don't know how to play my games. But I see that you've returned. This factory is now me and Isabella's home. So it looks like you're going to have to look for a new place. For that, you'll have to defeat me. And you won't be able to. When is the wedding going to start? Yeah, I'm a bit bored. Poppy, where's Hugo? Uh, I don't know where he could be. Do you think that he's just gonna leave me at the altar? Ugh, that'd be embarrassing. Ma'am, how much longer are we gonna be waiting here? I have to go. I have another wedding. Oh, just a little longer, please, Mr. Judge. Okay, half an hour more, but then I gotta go. Poppy, I can't believe it. Hugo's actually gonna leave me at the altar. Oh, no. How humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, ma'am, but I have to go. I can't wait any longer. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I I'm sorry, really. Oh, how sad. Where's the groom? Whew, hopefully that doesn't ever happen to me when I get married. 
Oh no, poor Isabella. I couldn't go to the wedding. Mommy Longlegs has completely covered the house in spider webs. I can't get out. I need to get out of here in any way possible. I need to explain to Isabella that it wasn't my fault. You still can't get out of those spider webs. <laughs> Ugh. How boring. We can't play another game until you win this one. Uh, mommy, you win. You win this game. I can't get myself out of here, okay? I give up. Get me out of this spider web. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm getting out of here. What? Cheater! You won't get away with this. How dare you cheat at mommy's games? He left me at the altar. <laughs> I've never been so utterly humiliated. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that guy would break your heart, Isabella. It's okay, darling. Don't cry. There are other boys. He's not even worth it. <laughs> no. I feel so humiliated. Lie to. Isabella needs to understand. We're going to be very happy together. Uh, who could it be at this hour? You! Good evening. Can I speak to Isabella, please? Well, who do you think you are? You think you could just come here and waltz into this house? After what you did to Isabella? I'm really sorry. Uh, let me explain, please. Let me in. Let him in, abuela, please. I think an explanation would make me feel better. Ooh, how romantic. Hugo's here. <laughs> I knew it. I knew my friend would never do something like that to Isabella. Poppy, are you spying on my family again? Ah, Bruno, look who's talking. You are the one that made this hole to spy on your family. And besides, the show is amazing. Come on, come on, come look. And, well, that was the reason I couldn't make it. But I do love Isabella, really. And uh, you know what? All of you were right. We were in a rush to get married. I'm going to prove to you all that I truly do care about Isabella. And I'm ready to wait for her for however long I need to. Hi, friends! Snicker Hoops here, and welcome back to another Tokaboka gameplay. And let me tell you how I designed the bridal store that appeared in the video. I used the new shopping center pack that I showed in the last video with baby Mia, where we made a daycare. So I made it in the first store. I actually had to clear out that section because I already had a few things there. And then like always, I started experimenting and it took me a really long time to figure out the combination of things that I really liked. I changed the wallpaper, I changed the flooring a bunch of times until I finally decided on this one. Then I made a few different wedding cakes that way uh, because I decided that this bridal store was also going to sell wedding cakes. And as I was saying, friends, I just experimented a bit. Then I decided I wanted to go to the art gallery and make a few paintings to decorate my bridal store. And I thought I was going to do a really romantic one with a bride looking down all pensively. It was really hard for me to make her face. I tried it with her eyes closed, with her eyes open, and then at the end I decided that I just couldn't use this painting. So then I decided to do something a little bit more simple. Some hearts, representing soulmates. But then I didn't really like that either. And I decided I wanted to try and make a bride again, but this time I would do a full length portrait. And as you know, third time's the charm, and this ended up being the one that I liked. So that's the one I decided to use. And I took my paintings to the store. And then back at the store, the experimenting started again. I'd put one, I'd put two. Finally, I decided on this little design, but not before I decided to take out my first painting. I just wanted to laugh again at how horrible it turned out. Then it took me a while to figure out what outfit I wanted to put on the mannequin. I tried a bunch of different ones. I didn't know whether to put it in a wedding dress, but ultimately I decided to dress her up um, maybe as like a mother-in-law because I loved this hat. And then I just hung up the rest of the dresses. I put the tiaras up here and I wanted this rug, but then ultimately I decided against it. And I decided to just use this white one because I decided that I actually wanted to use that pink heart one in the changing room. Or uh, should I say the dressing room? And that's how it turned out. I also put this really cute lamp and done. 
Snicker Squad, I hope you liked this Bruno story. I'm gonna be making a compilation of it. That way you can watch all of the parts in one video. And well, I'll see you all in the next one.